Hey everyone, so today I wanted to discuss with you about using search in a gallery and also the delegation warning that is going to happen. So here I have a list of parks in a city of Clemson. I added a search text box, I named it text.search and we have a search label. So the first thing that normal people are going to do is they're going to add search to their gallery. So right now I already have a filter statement. So inside that filter statement, what do I want to do is I want to search. And where do I want to search? I want to search that entire filtered statement. And where are we going to search? We're going to search inside our text search box. That's the name of my search box into the text. And what do we want to search by? The park name is my column. So now I have a text box. If I load this, I search for Nettles, Nettles Park shows up, JC, JC Park shows up, but there's one major problem that most people in Power Apps have run into, and that's the delegation warning. So the delegation warning is only going to search 500 records. You can increase that in the advanced settings to 2000 but that's a problem. We don't want to run into that issue. So what's the answer? The answer is to use a blank flexible height gallery. So I'm going to use the same SharePoint list, my city parks. I'm going to put this right next to it just so we can see the difference. So I have my gallery here. What do I want to do? I want a few labels. So actually, we have to select inside the gallery. We're going to add a few labels. I'm going to add three. So in order to filter, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same filter statement out of my other gallery, and I'm going to put it in my new gallery with the parentheses. So now I am just filtering from my other gallery on Clemson. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. All right. And this item is going to be right here. This is going to be the park name. I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller, about 11. And I'm going to make it bold. Now, one thing I wanted to do is I have a combo box here on the right side and you can select multiple items. I want to show all the selected items in a text field. So I showed you how to do this before in my last video and that is to concatenate. So we want to concat the this item dot anonymities, that's my field and we want the value and then how do we want to concatenate we want to concatenate the value and a comma for each one and we're going to make the font size a little bit smaller just so it fits so now you can see that we have all of the parks and i'm going to make this a lot bigger we have my city name the park name and then the anonymities that belong to that park. So first what I want to do is I want to change the color of this because we can't tell the difference. So I'm going to go to the advanced properties uh, template fill. That's what I'm looking for. This is going to change the background of my gallery items. I'm going to change it to a gray so 255 is black so a little bit lighter than that will be 240. So now we can see the difference between my gallery items. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller and raise this up just so we can get more in the view. I'm actually going to raise this up a little bit more, that up. so we can fit a lot of gallery items in one view. All right, so in my view, I have all 
the same parks. You can see that JC Park has no anonymities, and none of this is real data. The park names are real, but I just randomly selected different anonymities. So don't rely on me about these parks in Clemson. So in order to search this now, what we want to do instead of searching, which we did in our items, we're going to set the visibility on items in our gallery. So how are we going to do that? We're going to go to all three, all three of our labels. So this is our three labels inside the gallery. And we're going to group them. We created group two for me. So I'm just going to call this group parks. So in my group parks, what do we want to do is set the visibility. We want to change the visibility based on the search box. And the flexible gallery is going to solve this problem for us. So in our search box, which is called text search dot text, we're going to search in. And inside this, we're going to search for this item dot park name. Very simple. So you notice there is no delegation warning here. Now if we search for Nettles, it's even faster than the other gallery. Nettles Park showed up. If we search for Gateway, Gateway Park shows up. So no delegation warning on the right side. There is a delegation warning on the left side. So now I wanted to show how to search by this multi-select field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a drop-down. This drop-down is going to be the same as my other drop-down. It's just going to be the choices of my data source, which is City Parks, the anonymities. So I'm going to change the items of that. So now we have the same choices as here on both sides. Now, I'm just going to show you how things are incorrect first. So if I wanted to search inside my Dropbox, I'm going to call this Drop Search. So I'm going to rename it Drop Search. If we wanted to filter this, we're going to go to the visibility of our group. And we did Drop Search dot selected dot value. We took out the text this item in anonymities. this is actually going to fail. Why is it failing? Because anonymities is actually a table of many selections and you cannot search a text inside a table. So how do we search inside that? We convert it to that same to the same text value. So that's our concat function. So we're going to concat uh, this item dot anonymities dot the value and how are we going to concatenate it by just the value this time we don't need the comma because why do we need to search for a comma so now I have my selections on the right side we have our choices we can search for boats it's going to highlight just the boats we can search for football and I'm sorry for those who or not in America. In America we have football and soccer. So we can search for football or frisbee golf. Only one selection. This is a way to search inside a multi-select field with no delegation issues. If we use just a regular gallery we're going to get a delegation error. Using the flexible gallery is the best way to go. Add yourself a little bit of color. You group your text fields together, search, set the visibility by the search and the values, and then you can filter based on the selection or even the search box in a gallery. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm sure this functionality is going to help someone out. Uh, until next time. Thanks.